Tonight, me and Lofty are going to be on the racks. We're both going to be using sub-12 air rifles. I'm going to be using the Virac HW100 in 22 sub-12. Lofty is going to be using his BSA Ultra SE in 177. Both of us are using the Arkansas on top. Lofty is using the laser range finder slash ballistic calculator version. And I'm just using the standard one. Don't know how busy it's going to be, but we're going to get to it and see how many we can get. Seeing as it's been quite a while since me and Lofty have come to this farm to control some rats, it looks like the numbers have come back in ready for winter. I think tonight is going to be quite a busy night for us both. So first up is going to be Lofty, he's going to be using Zan 13 grain slugs in his little Ultra SE. For some reason this little BSA Ultra seems to love these in Sub 12 and Lofty uses these all the time because they do seem to have a little bit of extra power. Lofty's off to a really good start, and he's using that laser rangefinder on top of his Zulus when he's not sure of the distance. Someone's getting a free meal. And you know full well, he's gonna go tell all his mates that he's just caught this big fat rat by himself. With Lofty shooting at the moment, I'm currently being the spotter and this is where it comes in handy where I can tell him exactly where a rat is and then he can get himself right behind the rifle. Good one. 
good. I was right. <laughs> Empty magazine. Yeah, I did warn him that I think he'd fired 10. So it's back to his tin of slugs, reload this magazines, still plenty more, and we're going to keep going. There we go, we're in. Oh, yeah. oh, it's Lofty's turn for a bit of Matrix Rat. Just as you pull the trigger, the rat just bends away. And with the amount of rats that we've seen tonight, it doesn't take long before Lofty is back on the ball. A lot of the time you just stand in one position, scan with your thermal, and it doesn't take long before they start to pop out again. Lofty ranges this one at 45 yards on a standing shot with his tripod. And absolutely Polax that. That just shows when you've got the ballistic set up right on your Zulus. It is a fantastic tool. Standing back and using my thermal to spot, I let Lofty know that there's a rat in the bushes, so he's going to see if he can feed a pellet through. And I think it's about time that I get a go at the rats. Using the Virac HW100 in 22, using Air Arms pellets in 16 grain.
a quick scan with my thermal into the field and I just happened to see this fox which is walking down the hedge line. I'm sure I'll be back at some point with my 223. Well, it didn't take myself long to open up my account on the wraps. And I've just spotted a little area with quite a few hotspots. I think we got a decent amount, so that'll do. I'll just run past. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> Get you next time. You know, well, that's another evening done on the rats. Me and Lofty managed to get probably about 50 50 each. Both rifles performing really well. Both of us using the Arkan Zulus. It's the first time Lofty's used a laser rangefinder and ballistic calculator. So, what did, how did you find it? Yeah, it was good. It was, uh, I think it's easy to use because it's integrated and it's just your crosshairs to where you need to go. Yeah, so it's pretty much telling you where you need to aim, so it's taking out the guesswork. Um, so is this something you would recommend possibly buying in the future? Yeah, yeah, 100%, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So if you are interested in these two scopes that we've used tonight, I've left a link in the video description. Cheers for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.